Hey, what's going on, everyone? This is Mike Colleen at MikeColleen.com. It's M-I-K-E-K-O-L-L-I-N.com. Change my homepage a little bit. You might want to go ahead and check that out if you want. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and uh, click subscribe, click the all, and then click the uh, click the bell and then click the all button. Um, we're going to talk about the main. We're gonna, I'm going to introduce you to one thing, but then I'm gonna, the main subject is going to be um, somebody asked me a question. Okay, and it's it's how do I say this? It's it's a they, okay. I'm gonna tell you what they asked. So they asked. They said, "Well, well, what did you do to them to make them do this to you?" So they said, "What did you do to the narcissist to make them, you know, do all this stuff?" And I was like, "That was kind of just like it floored me." So let me tell you something right off the bat. When people ask you a question like that, they're probably a narcissist. Okay, because they're oh, what do they call? It? I just forgot the word, but they're basically inverting it. They're 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 reverse, they're reverse projecting, they're trying to project it, oh, it had to be your fault. Now, this person has never met me. This person doesn't know me. This person, it was just, well, obviously they met me that one time. But it was just shocking that they said that. So I'm going to tell you something right now. When somebody defends narcissists in any way, shape, or form, and that is a defense, that's saying, well, you must have done something to them. Like, so basically what it is, it's reverse blame. Okay, that's one way of saying it. Okay, I got it. It's called blame shifting. Um, sorry, I'm losing the right words tonight, but they're also minimizing, you know, what you're going through. They're just saying, oh, no, it's not them. It must be you. So what did you do to them? Right there, that's not your friend. There's a lot of therapists that would tell you, if someone, like, does that to you, they're basically telling you, like, I'm going to take the other person's side even though I don't know them. That is narcissistic as fuck, okay? So I'm going to leave that at there. So sorry, I'm not fine. There's there's more technical terms, narcissistic terms, but I'm drawing a blank tonight for some reason. All right, let's continue. It's like, number one, that is an assumption. They don't know they weren't there. So if somebody's making an assumption and then trying to reverse something onto you, trust me, they're probably a narcissist. Every person I have met, every person, 100% of the people that I've met, who have defended narcissists in one way or another, or they tried to say, oh, well, you must have done this, or they try to reverse it, they're a narcissist, being a narcissist, okay? All right, so um, let me let me say this before we start the, the – well, we already started the video, but when, before we get to the main piece. So one thing I want to say to a lot of you out there is – and I'm going to tell you why. There's a There's a second piece to this right here is God loves you. God is happy with you. And I, okay, what I really want to say on top of all that, God's not mad at you, okay? Unless you're a narcissist and God's probably pretty pissed off at you, okay? That is between them and God and I have nothing to do with that. So I don't claim any righteousness or any like knowing of whether God's mad at them or not. Uh, so I'm not going to say that, oh, God's mad at them. I would assume they are, but that is an assumption. So let's get this started. Got our little bougie candle going. All right. Get our little Indian seance thing going here. It's uh, winter sage, by the way. And it is winter. Or mountain sage. I always call it winter sage. I don't know why I do that. I think because I bought it winter. Yeah, it's some smoky stuff. By the way, that breaks up negative energies. And negative de demonic entities don't like that smell at all. They can't stand it. They run. So when you do it, when you sage your home, leave a crack at opening a door so they can so it can go out. Okay. All right. So here's the deal: narcissists have infiltrated our churches, and they, they and I don't mean recently, but I mean going back hundreds and hundreds. I'm going to say even beyond thousands of years, a thousand years beyond a thousand. So we can say thousand plus years. So what do narcissists do? Their number one goal is to get you to feel bad about you. All right. So if you have a strong faith in God, what's the first thing they're going to attack? They're going to, they're going to attack your relationship between you and God. All right. So what they're going to do is they're going to bring up a lot of negative stuff. They're going to be connecting negative anchors. That's something I explained in the past video. If you want to know, I'll explain later. But basically an anchor is connecting one thought or one thing to an emotion or feeling. So they're going to connect 
God's mad at you. They're going to connect. Or they, they may even say stuff like that. They will fill your head with, oh, God, you're a sinner. Or you've done these bad things. And that, by the way, is all the work of the devil. Anyone who's trying to turn, I want to say turn God against you, at least in your own mind, that's, that's, a, that's a satanic person. I don't care who it is. I don't care who it is. All right. It's super simple. God is love. Satan is fear. That's it. Every word, every emotion falls under one of those two categories. So you got love and you've got fear. So love falls under love. Happiness falls under love. Peace falls under love. Um, clarity falls under love. Relaxation falls under love. Joy, a serenity, clarity, and on and on. All these are just peaceful words, words of love. That's of God. The fear words are Satan, confusion, fear, fright, doubt, uh, lack, uh, and we, we can go on. All the things that narcissists do to you, they, they, they get, try to get in your head, they try to confuse you, Con conflict, all those things fall under the word of fear. That's how you know someone's being evil or mean or demonic. So what do narcissists do? They want you to be in conflict with yourself. They want you. They want to divide your left brain from your right brain. They want you to be at odds with yourself. They want to divide and conquer you. They want to cause shame. They want to cause doubt. They want to cause fear. All of these fall under the word of fear. All right. Anybody who is putting these thoughts like, "Oh, you should be ashamed. You should. Uh, God doesn't love you." You know, and they try to put doubt in you. And, and all that's you know where they're coming from. That's my point. Okay.